my little stars, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, we will be doing Little Witch in the Woods. If you haven't seen the last episode, let me tell you this. I got a bug and I got stuck in Kila's front yard. And I was supposed to speak with her, but she went away and she never came back. And she kind of left me in her yard. But anyway, without further ado, let's just hope this time I will be able to like... Be free i guess so let's let's just get at it <laughs> the house really looks amazing thanks it feels like i'm back home though i haven't even lived here for long as long as you like it here you can think of this place as your home village haha <laughs> i'll do that if i'm born again also check out the second floor terrace i used the design you chose it's a little too much but i like it because it's cute i'm glad you like it it's because you chose well. Thanks. That's because Kila made it well. Let me know if you need any help. I'll be glad to help. I can also expand the storage compartment. So let me know anytime. I will. It's a pity that I have to send you back empty handed though. Haha. <laughs> oh, don't worry. It's something that I also wanted to do. Hmm. What should I do? Oh yeah. Have you been to Arden's restaurant? Arden's meat dumplings with a drink are awesome. Uh, I can't drink yet. Oh, Ellie said she looks just like her age. I need to clean up my house and equipment for a few days. Could you come back in a day or two? I'll treat you to a pot of dumplings or something. God, could you please treat me to a pot of dumplings? Like, I will gladly take it. I love dumplings so much with a little bit of soy sauce. Mwah. A pot? How generous. This is simple for someone like me, Ellie Blue River. Alright, who's the next villager? Only one has arrived so far. First time I've always is always the hardest. It'll be quick from now on. I like the Confidence! That was the word I was looking for. I like her confidence. Should I start from the front? Maybe I should plan this out first. Well, I'm trying to look elsewhere. Hmm, the bridge is like this. I mean, it'd be better to do what's in front of me rather than try fixing the bridge. Correct. Good. The next villager lives just below Kira's house. First, let's talk to the knight. It's granted to me! <laughs> Luna, the player that managed to get stuck in Kila's front yard. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Inait. Inait, whose house is the one below Kila's? Kila just arrived. She's very diligent. Seeing that Kila likes it, I want to make sure the other villagers return soon. Yes, I understand. The house below Kila is Roy's house. Roy! He's a very kind and upright young man that runs a flower shop. Oh my god, it will be amazing. Like, imagine if he actually comes back. Then we can put, like, a bunch of flowers around the village. And then it will look a slightly bit more alive. And then we also, like, set the um, yellow candles in the... So, like, we get street light. Oh my god, the village is gonna look amazing. A flower shop must be pretty. He was a very diligent and kind young man. He also took care of the flowers in the village. When Roy left, the flowers in the village started to wither. The town will become prettier once Roy returns. That's what I said. That's right. Oh, also the bridge seems to be destroyed. Is there a village past the bridge? Yes, there are people living beyond the bridge. The prickly vines destroyed the houses in the bridge as well. Once Roy comes back, We'll have to fix the bridge first. I agree. I'll write a letter to Roy. Ellie, I want you to go to Kila and help build Roy's house. I can possibly have him stay at someone else's house when he returns. Understood. I'll talk to Kila. I'll leave it to you. Of course you leave it to me. Wait. My bad. Right. 
I actually did this entire conversation in another episode, you guys, so... Arden! Oh, you scared me! What made you sneak up on me and shout my name? I've been calling for you countless times. What were you so occupied with that you couldn't even hear me call for you? I was just dusting off. Come to think of it, you do seem a bit tired. I haven't been getting much sleep lately. Why? There's this nightlight I keep next to me when I sleep, but I lost it. I went out at night with it one time, and I just completely forgot about it as I headed back home. I went back to look for it after I'd remember, but it was gone. Did someone take it? That, I don't know. Try looking for it here and there. What does it look like? It's a special silver color, and it doesn't have a wick or candle, even though it's a lamp. I took it to the large lake, way out from the village. That area is filled with the scent of flowers at night. It wasn't there when I went to look for it, but you never know. Alright, I'll look for it. Okay. The main menu, it's still unboiling for more than a hundred years. Okay, there. Silver. Like I said. Rub rub. Is he inside the house? Oh yeah. Oh you're playing. You're so cute. I'm gonna breathe fire. Wow. Wow. How? How? Arda said he'll teach me. Me too. Me too. Teach me me too. I want to breathe fire too. I learn from Arda and teach you. Okay. I promise. Promise you'll teach me. Alright, by the way, do you have the tea Arden asked for? Oh, right, I forgot to give it, him the tea. I'll bring it to him. Oh, okay, thanks. I'll get it to him safely. Oh. Oops, I'll get it to him safely. <laughs> okay, don't forget to teach me how to breathe fire too. Okay. Tick tock, tick tock, for a long time. Tick tock, tick tock, with grandpa. Any interesting stories? Okay, the color he said he likes it, it's yellow. And luckily enough for him, I do happen to really, really love yellow. It's literally my favorite color. Because it's such a happy color. Like, how can you not like yellow? All right. Uh, craft a twinkle twinkle juice. Bring Arden the tea, villager. Arden says he was taking. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Hmm. Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, I'm so sorry, you guys. <laughs> okay, Arden. I'm running it all the time, although it's quiet. What's going on? Uh, yeah. My throat gets sore after spewing too much fire. Ask Rum Rum to brew me some tea. Could you do me a favor and get it for me? I... I'll be right back. And I'm back. After I did a little bit of looking over my video. Uh, I found out they got moved to the storage because my storage is full. <laughs> so that was honestly my mistake. <laughs> I should really stop uh, going around with like full inventory. That's really not good for me. So, let's move all there. Move all there. Like, the only thing that I do want to like... Uh, wait. Move tabs. There. I want it to be my first item, that's why. But, um... Hello, can I speak today? Anyway, what I wanted to say, it is a smarter move for me to like walk with my inventory when it's not full because then I'm gonna be able to take items that I need. Like for example, this tea that Rob Rome gave it to me, it probably got transported in the storage because I didn't have any space. 
and that really is my fault. On the bright side though, we are finally gonna be able to give it to Arden. Shabram! Bless his heart, such a sweet, sweet little guy. My last character here actually is um, Arden. He doesn't seem the nicest. Uh, I've always have plenty of pepper ready. Okay. There. Give Arden the tea. Give. I've got it right here. Oh, thanks. Fine, you want to know how to breathe fire? Is that it? Yep. I wasn't sure myself, so I thought it th uh, through to teach you. Alright. I'll teach you step by step. Alright. First, breathe in. Sure. Then, grab the crimson tooth from deep within. Okay. Then, squeeze the punch in the throat to release the liquid. Once you exhale, the flame will come forth. How does that sound? It won't work. Obviously, you're not a dragon, Ellie. Hello, lady? Like... What's the problem? I can breathe in just fine. Have you properly heated up your tooth? But I don't have a crimson tooth to heat up. I see. It can then like this. After all, you're not a dragon. My lifelong dream. What's the big deal about breathing out fire? It's not as simple as that. All it does is to hurt your throat. Not really useful at all. Back in the old days, I used it to threaten the humans who were after my treasure. Pardon you? <laughs> I, oh my goodness, okay. I was honestly expecting that he would be like, oh, I was heating up like the pot or rather his cauldron where he makes food. But no, let's just threaten humans. That seems funnier, doesn't it? But nowadays, I just used it to increase the heat when I'm boiling a stew. Treasure? Where is it now? Did you hide it in a secret cave? What happened to the people who were after your treasure? Can't remember. Can you really forget something so important? I mean, what do you think the stew is made from? It happens. Here, you did me a favor, so have this bread. Okay. When you could give me something more. Enthusiastic, but... Kila, do you have a moment? No, I'm busy. Oh, then I'll be back later. Yeah, yeah, I was just kidding. What's going on? I'm sorry to ask this of you so as soon... I'm sorry to ask this of you as soon as you're back, but there we go. I want to have the other villagers return like you did. I was hoping you could be the houses for the other villagers. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering what you were going to say. Of course I'll help. I was going to ask you the same thing. Is there something I can help you with when you build a house? In order to begin, I knew it. I need a house blueprint and foundation materials. Talk to Oria for the blueprint, she'll sell it to you. Foundation materials can easily be found in the forest. So if I bring the blueprint and the foundation materials, we can build Roy's house. Yes. You can deliver a little at a time. So just let me know when you bring it any. Okay. Is Roy the next lucky villager? How did you know? The only one still left in the area is Roy's house. And not, <laughs> not to mention that he also kind of said the name. Just saying. You know Roy? I knew because we lived in the same village. <laughs> what kind of person is Roy? He was a good looking kind friend. A bit lacking in terms of brown. And, hmm, thinking back, I guess I didn't get to talk to Roy much. Yeah, yeah. If you're curious, ask around. Okay. Roy, as he used to be a villager, what was Roy like? Hmm. I don't understand why Ellie would like to know who Roy was. Because, like, if Ellie says that, uh... Roy is a good guy, then he must have been a good guy, right? Oh yeah, do you have the house blueprint? No. Yes, of course I do. Is it for the other villagers' houses? Yes, that's right. 
Which villager is moving back this time? A villager named Roy. Roy, ah, the owner of the flower shop. I happen to have the flower shop blueprint too. I'll put it up on the shop. Thank you. Do you need anything? Yeah, I need to see how much this is gonna cost me. <laughs> Aren't you the sweetest? Okay. Deliver a real no. Okay. Sell potion. Did you bring any potion? No. Do you need anything? Which potion is in high demand? Let's see here. Three healing candy by tomorrow. Alright, I also have it ready until tomorrow. Please note that delivery is possible until tomorrow because promises are important. <sighs> you know what that means, you guys? Back to the grinding! There you go! We are in a laboratory where the magic is happening. And I think this is all resources that I need. I don't think I needed two of them. Like, I made this candy so many times at this point that if I will get it wrong, I will actually be quite disappointed in myself. <laughs> but we almost got all the things. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I don't think the game is fully finished yet because it's like early access still. But that's the most exciting part about it. Stage four, start to write. Stage four, start to write. And then... Nice. Okay. This, this, stage four. Ooh right wait it says that i can begin crafting change number of crafted yeah perfect Yay! finally it's a bit annoying to like having to craft one by one so yeah No, no, problem. He looks so happy and now. He looks so defeated. Uh, if I was Rubram, right, I will constantly stay with Kila and ask her to teach me all her methods. Okay, do I need anything? Yes, I want to freaking deliver the candy that I have. Okay. Yes. Today the delivery is... Oh, no! Oh, man. Really not lucky am I. Really need this. Hmm. Oh man, that's just unfortunate, isn't it? Deliver the flower show materials to Killa. What am I supposed to? That's the problem. I don't have the blueprint, therefore I don't need know exactly what I need. Anyway, let's uh, let's do the twinkle twinkle juice. It's this one. Twinkle spider. Let's see. Uh, the spider. <laughs> the pom-pom picture. It always gets me. But this one. It's always in day. I gotta hurry. If I want to be able to capture some of them. Ha! <gasps> Please come back. No. 
What about this birdies? What are you? You probably are the pom poms. Okay. They dislike being touched, so they tend to shy away from people. They don't seem so shy to me. Oh my goodness. I need to figure it out. That's for goddamn sure. <laughs> hmm. Okay. At least we got a spider. How many do we need for this twinkle twinkle juice? <sighs> of course, I need two of them. What else do I need? Push bug and smile bubbles. Okay, I can get that. These those. How much inventory I have? I have enough for all of them. For me to get branches for my broom because we truly used a lot our broom. And I did check a little bit. I cannot upgrade my broom to use less uh, twigs, which is a bit unfortunate. But somehow we will make it work. We always make it work, my little stars. As long as I have you by my side, that is all I need. I don't remember if Ellie only sleeps around uh, twelve, uh, 10 or 8. I think it was 10. Hmm. Regardless, we're still going home. I'll check it out if Ellie sleeps. If she doesn't sleep, then we will be fixing our room. Yay! Ah, I love that the night can be so short. Mwah! Perfect. Something, something feels strange. I had some kind of weird dream. I'm sure you've been saying that for the past few days. What kind of dream was it? That's the problem. I don't remember what dream it was. It must be an ordinary silly dream. No, I mean something strange. Isn't it because the bed has changed? Maybe so. But I'm getting some kind of feeling that it's important. I should try asking other people. Oh! Oh! Oh, hello! <laughs> this is such a quiet place. What? Hello, are you Ellie Blue River? Yes, I'm Ellie Blue River. You registered the witch's catalog not too long ago, right? Yes, but why? I'm not a suspicious person. My name is Kent. I work for the Witch Human Information Exchange Department. I think it's my first time hearing of such a department. It's a department created by witches to provide information that they find useful to humans. It's been quite a while since it was created, but since you haven't heard of it, are you an apprentice witch? Uh, yeah. I came here recently. So then... Ellie, who are you talking to again? Oh, that. Which or whatever from exchange department. Ah, right. Is that a talking hat? Oh, the m master witch is not here right now. She's talking through the hat. The master witch is not here. Because she's busy. <laughs> totally nothing suspicious here. It's not like I'm an apprentice witch trying to work on my own. To be like a master witch. <laughs> If he's from the exchange department, it must be because of the villagers. Villagers. Yes, that's right. The Master Witch seems to know well about us. I know a little bit. Since I left everything related to the witch's house to Ellie, you can talk to her. Right, I'm in charge of the house, uh, witch's house now. Alright, got it. I'll do that from today. But what will we be talking about? Don't worry, I will only ask simple questions. If you answer well, there is even a prize. Wow, a prize? I like how goldfish we are. Like, we are getting 
so that it is actually something quite important that potentially could risk away and rather give it away that we are lying we don't have a master witch we did not have a master and all we care about is like he said price and i'm like oh, a prize okay say less you have me at it <laughs> You don't need to worry, since they're formal and trivial questions. What is the name of the village that the witch's house you're currently staying at is in charge of? Wisteria? <laughs> it's Wisteria. I see. Wisteria. Oh, it's here. Then how many villagers are living in Wisteria at this time? That, uh, just a minute. Okay. We have Edite. We have Rabram. We have Arden. We have Kila. That's it. And we're gonna have Roy, but Roy is not there yet. So, four. Oh, there are four. Four people are living there now. Four people. Did you just say... Four people. Yes, Inite, Rabram, Arden, and Kila, who moved here recently. According to this data that I have, Wisteria used to be a village of 20 people! Lived in seven years ago. Oh, that's probably right too. They say a prickly vine that was destroying houses suddenly appeared in the villages ago. So many villagers left that there are only a few people remaining. The prickly vines destroying houses. Can I go to the village for a minute and take a look? Of course, I'll guide you. You are reliable. Since I'm in charge of the witch's house, leave everything to me. Ah, we're being sassy and I'm here for it. I guess it was true. I removed the pricking vines around here. Although, it still remains elsewhere. I'm here now. I'll get rid of all the prickly vines and bring the villagers back again. Ellie, you're so reliable. I've already brought Kila. I want to see a noisy village with everybody gathered together soon. I hope so. I'm also looking forward to it. So, since you answered all my questions, well... I should give you a prize, right? Already, but I don't think you asked that many questions. You've answered all the important questions, well. So as a prize, ta-da! I'll give you some candy. Okay. Wow, it looks delicious. I'll give you one more candy since you've answered all of my questions without any mistakes. It's candy that Kent gave me. It looks really sweet. Wow, thank you. Eat carefully. Okay, I'll enjoy it. Don't get a sugar rush. I'm going to leave now. Are you going to leave right away? Yes, I also have to go somewhere else. I heard... I've heard everything that I needed from here. Oh, and the Master Witch's nose. But let me know of changes in villagers' number. I'll leave my office address. Yeah, okay. See you next time, Ellie Blue River. Goodbye! Oh my god, imagine if he actually finds out. The vanished master witch, prickly vines, and only four people in the village. And Blue River. It will be fun. I have a feeling he is not who he says he is. Look at this Virgil! I got candy too! Ellie, don't need that! Oh, why? I got this as a prize! Didn't you see his face just now? No one has ever looked that suspicious. Virgil, it's a bad thing to judge people by their faces. Hear me out. If we consider Virgil history, He's very judgmental, very rude, very picky, and very moody. However, 
he saw so not wrong on this one because that guy looked very suspicious and not a witch whatsoever. He looked more like a vampire to me. It's okay to judge someone with that kind of face. And you also thought he was suspicious at first. This is this and that's that. Anyway, be careful. He seemed like a nice guy, don't sweat it. By the way, what is the exchange department or whatever? Does it really exist? A mutual information exchange department between witch and human. It really does exist. There were some difficulties, but it's running fine now. What kind of place is it? Witches naturally collect information because of the witch's house. It's a place created to share collected information with human beings. These days, it seems to be focused on the census of village managed by a witch's house. Hmm, so it wasn't a strange place. The strange thing is the people, not the department. By the way, it's Kent really from there. You answered everything without even checking on that? You saw the moon-shaped brush on the cloak, didn't you? It also serves as a witch society pass. I didn't know that. His red jeweled necklace is a royal seal of the human society. Does that mean he's royal blood? Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Sweet young innocent Ellie. Could be, but from what the looks of it, he's just a public official. I mean, because people who work for the royal family also have them. Well, anyway, that means it's not a lie. He didn't look like someone who would lie either. Let's bring back the villagers first. We'll meet Kent again anyway. I don't trust that guy. He really looks so suspicious. So suspicious. Goodness. Uh, ask other people about my dream. Let's talk to Oria. I um uh, curse lift the candy. You know what? I don't want uh to just yet uh curse lift the candy. The squish and the maple. Maple I need to go grab some because I don't have any. However, I do believe I have the squish. Squish squish. And also, I need to go collect more spiders. Oh my god, it is so many things to gather, you guys. So, you know what? I'll see you very shortly. As soon as I pretty much fixed everything. Just putting it out there. I don't see anything by the lake. Arden said he couldn't find it. It must be someplace else, considering we can't find the lamp out here in the open. Why don't you go ask someone else who prances around in the woods like you? I'm not just prancing around, I'm here because I have work to do. But I guess it won't hurt to ask around. Okay, the belly rubs. Oh no! <coughs> <coughs> not the broom. Forgot to repair the broom. Oh. Happily enough, we're extremely close to the house, so can repair it right away okay dun, 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 dun. Okay. okay awesome uh right i'm gonna do this later because it's not like a must need task right now however the curse candy right okay i have a lot of that and apparently i do have one here too however i need to go squish uh bunny's cheeks and yeah pretty much i'm ready to go Oui. 
fish chop. One, two, and three. And let's see, stage three, don't stir. Got it. Tup, tup, stage three, don't stir. And I do wanna increase. Okay, Oria. Got what you ask for. And though if you ask me, I could use a bit more money than what you're offering, but Okay. Mm, yeah, I do happen to need that blueprint of yours that you got. Thank you very much, ma'am. Mud boots. Blue pigeon. A lovely story about a girl named Jehovah. From Mom. Interesting. I don't know if those are gonna help me in any way yet. So. Okay, let's go to Kila and tell her. There's a special sound that comes from the wood. I'm listening. Uh. Uh, Roy, are you delivering it to build Roy's house? Right now, this is what's needed. Okay. 35, 14, and 10. I'm gonna give it to you. 35 sticks, 14 rock, and... I'm gonna take a picture on this. I'm gonna forget it. Mark my words. Okay. Take your time. Incredibly speedrun material gathering. I got this, you guys. I found a mandrake! No idea what it did to me, but it's a mandrake. Okay. Please don't tell me I'm gonna be unlucky. Wouldn't surprise me. Because this gameplay hasn't really been it for me. Anybody who watches the series of Little Witch in the Woods, they will know how unlucky I am with finding resources that are actually truly required. So... But I'm not gonna let that drag me down. I will scavenge every single part of this island or whatever it is until I find it. I'm so excited to find out what that is. And what that is all about. Nothing there. I'm missing two rocks, one mud. Two rocks, one mud. Can we find it? That is the question. There's the mandrake that I brought. We two rocks, one mud. No. Oh well. <sighs> it 
Did I have a feeling this will happen? Yes, very much. Let's go to bed. Let's figure it out. No dream. No dream. No, 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 no. You are not allowed to have dreamies. One mud, two rocks. That's all I'm asking for, game. Nothing fancy. Nothing much. Just this. Please. Okay, on the rock, one more rock, one more mud. That's simple. <sighs> Let's rush to Kila, give her all the items, so now she can officially start on this bloody house. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting for it for so long now. But 20 villagers, 20 houses. 20... No, actually not 20. Minus Roy's house now. 18 times more. I'm, no, wait. 15 times more I'm gonna need to do that. My god. That is something. Approximately at least. Where are you, Kila? Why? Oh. Okay. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Kila, 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 Kila. Okay, you're not here. I need to see. See where you are. Robram is in his hallway. Playing. Where's Kila? Don't Kila likes to go a bit exploring beyond the village, but there she is. Uh, getting firewood and training at the same time, killing two birds with one stone. I'm listening. I am giving you all the things for Roy's house. Because, milady, I have everything that you desired. Okay, you've gathered everything already? That was fast. Alright, I'll start working on it tomorrow. If you have the time, try by when I'm building. I have something to ask you. Alright, uh, night light. I've seen plenty of lamps. It's not your average lamp. It's a silver lamp that glows gently with no wick or candle. Come to think of it, I think I've seen a Robram holding something similar. Why Robram is like having everything in this village? He said it was Ardens and that he was going to return it to him. I should ask Robram then. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Are you returning to the village? No, you are not. Okay, no problem. Is anything said to like? Why are you playing in the new house? No! <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> He's like, it's fine. If Killa doesn't start yet, I will. <laughs> Alright, you guys. I think that is it for today. We have achieved so much more than I actually anticipated. And yeah, I'm just very excited for Roy's house to come back. It's it's gonna be exciting and I'm really curious about the mysterious guy. To me, he looks like a vampire but turns out to be an actual witch. But he seems evil. So we will see more about that in the future. I'm, I'm very excited. And I hope you are as well. And if you are and would like to support me, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the no notification bell to see whenever I upload. I love every single one of you that come across my video, my little stars. And I hope I'll see you on the next one. I love you. Bye.